In Hebrews chapter 9, verse 27, the author of Hebrews makes a stunning statement about death, which if we take it to heart, can help us infinitely. Here is what he writes in verse 27 and in the beginning of verse 28. As it is appointed for men to die once, but after this the judgment, so Christ was offered once to bear the sins of many. So each person dies once, and then comes judgment. We come before God to face judgment. For those who've rejected Christ, they'll unfortunately appear before the great white throne judgment described in Revelation chapter 20. They'll be judged according to their works, given the standard of God's holiness. Since they've rejected Christ's sacrifice, they've rejected his payment, they'll have to pay for their own sins by being thrown into the lake of fire, the eternal form of hell. But for those who've received Christ, they'll appear before the judgment seat of Christ, described in 2 Corinthians 5 and 1 Corinthians 3, also called the Bema seat of Christ, Bema being the Greek word for judgment. Their sins have been covered. As per Hebrews chapter 9, verse 28, Christ was offered once to bear the sins of many. So they won't have to pay for their own sins. Instead, they'll be judged, they'll be evaluated according to their works, and they'll be rewarded for everything done unto Christ. Fleshly pursuits will be burned up, but they themselves will be saved. And they'll be rewarded wonderfully for every cup of cold water given in Christ's name. Note, by the way, that there's no reincarnation. We die once and then face judgment. Jesus died once and then took our judgment. So when a believer comes before Christ at the Bema Seat, there will be great rejoicing. The Bema Seat in Greek and Roman culture was the place where the city magistrate would sit and where victorious athletes would come to receive their victory crown. For those who believe in Christ, may the Bema Seat motivate us to action. Jesus sees all that we do, every demonstration of love, every act of obedience, every time we've said yes to the Holy Spirit, and every time we've said no to the forces of darkness. Thus, believers can look forward to Christ's return and to seeing the risen Christ face to face and to coming before the Bema Seat of Christ. For those who have yet to believe in Christ, may the reality of death, followed by the great white throne judgment, serve as a motivator to receive Christ so that your sins can be covered, they can be paid for, and then death can be followed by wonderful reward and by eternal life with Christ. Thanks for listening.